Hi, I'm Shane with Hobart Welding Products. Today I'm going to show you three welding processes. Stick, wire feed, and TIG. And this should help you make the decision on which process is best for you. The first process we're going to look at today is stick welding. We're using an electrode holder and a stick electrode to create an arc with the metal that you'll be welding. It's also known as arc welding. This is a great choice for dirty, rusty material and also thick material. That's why you'll see a lot of farmers using stick welders. Some of the drawbacks to stick welding is the ability to weld on thin material. Transformer based units are relatively heavy and also have a high amp draw up to 50 amps, so portability may be an issue. But if you're looking for an economical machine that welds some thick material, stick welding may be a great choice for you. The next process we're going to look at is wire feed welding where the filler metal is fed through a gun liner out the tip using a drive motor that's located inside the machine. There are two different types of wire feed welding. MIG, which uses a shielding gas, and flux core, where the shielding material is already in the wire. So if you're looking for a welder that'll weld under half an inch, is very easy to use, and is priced right, wire feed welding might be a great choice for you. The last process we're going to talk about is TIG welding. We're using a non-consumable tungsten electrode to create the arc. TIG welding also requires the use of a shielding gas. Normally 100% argon is used. The benefits of TIG welding are the unbelievable control you have with the arc. A lot of people use these for sensitive welds and thinner material. Comparatively, TIG is probably the most difficult process to weld with. But if you've mastered wire feed and stick and looking for a great arc and a beautiful weld, TIG might be a great choice. So that was your look at stick, wire feed, and TIG. For more information on welding processes or welders, visit our website, hobartwelders.com.